Hello friends, in this video we are going to actually proceed and do the migration. I have inside the Google interface, I have gone inside my virtual machine instance. Here I am in the service migrate to virtual machines. And to get started, I will be adding the source over here. My source is going to be AWS. It's asking for a name to be given. Just give it a name of demo. GCP region, I am going to migrate it to US Central 1. So it says that. AWS region would be AP South 1. It's Mumbai region for me. I need an access key, secret key, which I need to generate in AWS. Let's go over that and do that first. Okay, so I'm inside the AWS, I've logged in over here and I've gone to the service called IAM, Identity and Access Management. And if I create a user and generate the keys, I'll put up a policy first, which I need to attach to the user. So I'll click on create policy over here and go to JSON. Now I don't need to actually come up with a policy. Google documentation has this policy in it, which I need. So I'll just copy it from here. Select it. Paste it. Next. I'm going to name it AWS GCP migration. And save the policy. Now I need to create a user and attach the policy to the user. So it's called create user. I'm going to give this again a name as uh, make user or you know, that's how I find it convenient to identify. I don't need a uh, control access on this, so I'll just create the user and I'm going to attach a direct policy which we just created. So I'll give look for AWS type in GCP. It's populated the policy which is just created. Next, Let's create the user. Right, so, my user got created. I'll generate the API keys for it. Go to security credentials and generate the access key. And this is going to be for third party access. Should be fine. It should work. Next, I'm going to give a tag as make for migration, generate the keys. I'm going to copy them inside my Google console. That's it. Great. Now, this is going to take a little while to, you know, populate and show the interface. It will show me all the VMs which are running on my AWS. So, in the meantime, this happens. Let's quickly look at the AWS interface. Go to EC2. Okay. I have two running instances and uh, actually two suspended instances, stopped instances. So it's going to populate and eventually show all the four. We are going to try this WordPress server migration. It's using Ubuntu OS and uh, this is its public IP. You can visit it as a yeah, Nginx and a WordPress also set up our website. Once it's a folder WordPress, it should take me ideally to. All right, so that's it. Not much inside it of this one. We are running test and uh, setup. So this is just to verify after migration, our files and everything got copied up. All right, so here, uh, if you see in cell pending state, I'm going to pause the video. We're going to come back when this is ready to move. All right, so we have added the source now. You can see it over here. Uh, we're going to migrate this one WordPress and we're going to go add VM migration for selected VM. I want to confirm that. So it is ended. So now we can move to the next tab. It's going to load over here and uh, we can go and we can start replication from here. All right. So replication is going to take time. So I'm going to pause the video and come back later. All right, so set up the target details. All right, so instance name will be required. So put as demo project. I'm going to put it in this migration demo project. Zone issues into one C is fine. All right now, required instance type. I'm going to put E2 is fine for me. And I'm going to go with the uh, one before we go with small. 2 GB RAM, I think it should be good. 
And I think these two networking is required. So I'll set up the default network, default subnet, external IP primitive, internal IP automatic. All right, I think this is what is required. Uh, we have additional configuration which you can fill in, but this really uh, take it on its own if you don't do it. So this is going to be standard. Standard, we can change it to your balance and put it to balanced. So density we don't need. Uh, Replication policy also, it's going to take it up on its own. Should be fine. License default is okay. You don't need a license. So you go to machine. So target details are updated. So you are still wait, it's still processing. But uh, let's pause. We'll pause again. All right, so I'm back and our base migration is complete. Finally, we need to do a test clone, but I'm going to skip that phase and I'm going to go to cut over to make the you know timeline shorter to build this video. Ideally, you want to do a test clone, verify if the thing is there in place in the production like scenario. Uh, I'm going to directly jump with the cut over for now. It's just showing that you know once you do this, it will shut down the source VM for us. So she'll go ahead with it. This is showing the replication history. Again, jump to the logs. It's doing the cloning for us. But right, I'm going to pause the video, come back later once this is complete. It takes a time for it to. I will say the documentation, I just wanted to point out that, you know, licensing could cause, uh, you know, migration to fail in case you have, uh, you know, using the uh, licensed product and you don't select the appropriate license type for it, uh, this could be a reason for your migration to fail, right? So I just wanted to point that out. I also have realized this, that the documentation that we need to have this uh, migration service account uh, given the role for uh, you know, service account user and uh, that is the service account user role has to be added so i'm not sure that it takes it on its own but i'm going to double check to it myself manually so i'll go add and just paste the prefix and should pick up the rest of it assign the role and let's just uh, Copy the role name, service account user role. All right, so this is the service account user role. Save this. All right, so this should assure that my migration goes smooth. So we'll again pause, come back once there is progress. All right, so it took a little while, but migration is now completed. Uh, you can see the process is successful. Let's check the VM, the VM instance. Okay, so this is the VM. Open the, let's check. So my HTTP port is not open, that's why it's all the instances in the network so I do the zero dot zero dot zero allow go to the All right, I think this is now fixed. All right, I think this is completed. Now the same set is running from TCP. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please do subscribe my channel. It motivates when you subscribe. Thank you. Bye.